So Jaina, can you just tell me a little bit about your dad and kind of what's been going through your head the past couple of days? I, I do believe that my father is alive. I don't have any fears about that. Um, he knows how to, my dad's the type of person, even the situation looks grim. He knows how to use his humor to get through it. So if he is wandering somewhere and he's and if he meets people, he's going to make a joke or whatever and keep moving. Um, those Vietnam vet so, uh, survivor skills will always be there. I'm confident in that. I mean, do I cry at night? Yeah. Don't wake up crying. I do. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, I'm able to be strong through this because of the support from all the, from all these great people. I mean, my coworkers, my church family people who I don't know, I mean, people from the gym, people, a late lady from the consignment store that I go to. I mean, I didn't know y'all cared as much about me and I didn't know you cared as much about my dad. It means a lot. And when he yeah. comes back, I'm gonna show him all the nice things you all have said to him because I'm telling you like, you never know how much a person means until they're out of sight. And, and that's why I tell you all, if you are blessed and lucky to have your father with you in close proximity or if they're long distance you always communicate with them and let him know not just on father's day but any opportunity you can no one should ever get tired of being told that they are loved so don't ever feel like you're annoying your father when you say dad father um, habib <sighs> whatever language whatever culture you're from, that you love him. Absolutely, absolutely, thank you.